Uh, I'm Alex with LSTV. I am here with Knuckle Puck. How are you guys doing today? Doing great. How about yourself? Well. I'm fantastic. The atmosphere here is phenomenal, isn't it? How are you finding Leeds? How are you finding Leeds so far? Great. It's so much fun. It's our second time here. What is it? Second time in the UK? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. Excellent. Um, so, what um, what can we expect from your? Uh, what do we? What are people? What are people expecting from your um, set today? How, how do you think it's going to go? Um, oh, bin. Well, yeah, we already played, but it was it was energetic. Like I guess if you're coming to a show um, or one of our sets at Slam Dunk, uh, just expect energy and hopefully you get involved. You know what I mean? Yeah. So how how do you think the how does the scene in Leeds compare to what it is back home? It's not it's not terribly different. I don't, I don't think like this is reminding me a lot of like Warped Tour and you know a bunch of people coming out and seeing a bunch of bands they like and having a great time. It's not really too much different, honestly. Yeah, they do a good job. They do a good job of hiding that, that we're in a different country. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like halfway through the set, you, we have to like remind ourselves that we're in the UK really? and not at home. So, no, yeah, it's been great. It's good that it has that, that homely feeling, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, totally, totally. Yeah. yeah, so if you could, if you could play with any other band on the bill, which one would you choose? Just like on a tour, or? Just like just one, just one like one-time show. Definitely like, for me, taking back Sunday. Yeah, totally, yeah, totally. Yeah. Uh, I think that sounds a good one. That we haven't played with before. Is that uh, any? Uh, the, I guess something you had, someone you haven't played with. What would be like the dream, the dream slam dunk pairing? Um, I want to tour with Transit. Transit. Okay. We, we toured with them last year, and it's yeah. like cool. Being able to play like this festival with them again. Yeah, yeah. you took with the transit neck deep. Is it? Was it? Was it neck deep? You tried? Oh, man, yeah. Man, man of a board. Yeah, yeah, yeah board that was it. They're playing my favorite song right now. <laughs> just, just sit here and listen to it. Just sit here and give it. Part of me. It's my favorite song. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, so yeah, how did how did um, how did Knuckle Puck form? When where do you like? Gives us a little bit of the history of the band. So. <laughs> <laughs> I have this memorized, um, <laughs> um, but I was in a band and then we broke up and then I was like looking for someone to start a band with so I contacted our drummer through Kevin who I knew from high school and then we just started playing covers and then Kev Kevin came home for Thanksgiving break we hung out with Kevin and then we found Nick <laughs> And then we found Ryan somewhere here, yeah it, <laughs> somewhere it's, it's very very long and detailed we like we like hit everybody up for kind of a long time and like Nick was busy with work and yeah it was just it was weird it was it took a long time but here we are <laughs> good so you say you, did, you started off as like doing a lot of covers so would you say your main influences would be like either individually or as a band or uh well oh uh I was gonna say uh, I don't know Blink-182 I think is like besides John it's like the across the board I think influence yeah um, I don't know, what do you think? Uh, Taking Back Sunday too, probably. Yeah, definitely. Earlier, like, before, like, when we would write for, like, our first demo and stuff, Lifetime, for sure. Uh, <laughs> yeah, besides that, like, you know, bands like Movie Life, Starline, and uh, Jimmy World, Nick likes Jimmy World a lot, Blink-22, stuff like that. Uh, excellent, excellent. Well, thank you very much, Knucklebuck, you've been fantastic. Had a great show. So look forward to seeing you. When could we see you back in the UK anytime Hopefully in the future? Yeah, probably. If not this year, then next year. Yeah, if not 2015, then definitely 2016. Yeah. But we're going to try to get here before the year's over. Okay. So. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. It's been fantastic. Thanks, man. Thank you very much. That's me and you too.